What's up, Skywatchers? What is up indeed? Sunday, November 2nd, 2025. For the last few days, I've been watching the radar anomalies out of Mexico and Central America. These type of radar returns often pulse days, even weeks before cyclogenesis. And I'm waiting to see beams come out of Cuba, shoot across to the Yucatan Peninsula. To me, this looks like an electromagnetic heating event, directed energy altering air density and charge. As the pulse interacts with the aerosol-laden skies, convection ignites and the lower atmosphere couples electrically to the upper layers. This region from the Yucatan to Cuba has repeatedly acted as a trigger corridor for rapid storm acceleration. If this radar signature continues, we may again witness a chain reaction of charged convection and organized rotation across the Caribbean and into the Gulf. These aircraft release aerosols across multiple atmospheric layers. The metallic materials do not behave like condensation. They persist through multiple layers of the atmosphere, forming a conductive scaffold suspended in the sky. Once the conductivity increases, these trails begin to change, showing signs of active energy input. This is when the ears really start to ring, and the clouds will pulse on the radar. Clouds also will take on a frequency formation. NEXRAD, phased array radar systems, ionospheric heating facilities inject energy into the atmosphere and those aerosols respond with a plasma-like behavior. Plasma is controllable. Energy in, weather reacts, increasing the conductive available potential energy, otherwise known as a Cape value. Storms intensify suddenly. Lightning increases and now we have ignition. We can watch aircraft fly straight up and back down. This is a vertical conductive filament a direct line between the troposphere, the tropopause, and the upper atmosphere. The sky becomes a circuit board. Aircraft lay the wiring. This is the engineered sky. The climate isn't changing. It's being wired. All right, guys, I'd like to thank the supporters of this channel. Tammy Dennis, Lynn Perkins, and a shout out to VK Arm Arm, Sylvia Dunn, and Richard Vizzy. I couldn't keep doing this without you guys. Much love and many thanks. Okay, Sky Watchers, stay aware, be prepared, and until next time, keep looking up.